Hey there, Lama Lanites! I'm Silly Cat 2! <laughs> okay, I had to. Uh, hey everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more Lama Lana. In the last episode, we got the throwing knife and the map to the Mausoleum of the Giants. And in this episode, we are going to get something here in the Temple of the Sun that I should really pick up before fighting boss number two. And that is something that is all the way down here and die Sonic. The game started sucking decades ago. Okay, not decades ago, one decade ago. There, you're happy? Okay. And look, uh, we are failing miserably here. That pyramid, you do not want to attack that pyramid. You will, you will get struck by lightning and you will probably die because you are an idiot for attacking something sacred like that. Anyway, kill both of the bats, you get that life jewel. Let's go up there and pick it and then warp back to the mausoleum. Because that is really the only thing we came here for. Life jewel. Ow! Alright, one thing in the upper part of the place that I forgot to get, let me, uh, go chipmunk here real quick. That is not right. I can huh? Is this something stupid that I'm missing here? Are you sure? I hope so. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got a bunny's up. There's another time to be okay? Okay, I'm back, and as you can see there, I kind of had an epic fail with my uh, g with my game here. I misread my own guide. How stupid is that? Yeah, I'm not doing this all ad hoc, like I might have indicated in the first episode. I am actually following a guide I wrote here in OneNote, and... You know, it's just a little thing showing the order in which I'm supposed to get all these items. Because while this is not a speedrun, I am an impatient individual. Sometimes. I mean, it's a weird thing. I can, like, grind for hours and hours and hours sometimes, but when it comes to games like this, I... I don't know. All about speedrunning. Oh! There's something we do not want to... Uh, 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 uh. What am I doing here? I'm doing this and making the audio... And making the video glitch out. Because, you know, that's pretty great. <laughs> and Lemmy's is all like... Oh! Yeah, I'm back. Only well, probably sounds a lot more Japanese than Southern. And yeah, I cannot do a Japanese accent. And I'm not Chugger Conroy here. <laughs> um, let's see. This is where we want to go. 
Alright, so we have Hyper Olympic 2, we have Seal of El Giza, we have Game Collection 3. There's just a few more things we need to pick up here before we are all done with this place. First up is, uh... Oh, this puzzle... Whoops! <laughs> I am stupid. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, that was an epic fail on my part. What we want to do is... Um, let me pause the recording here and look up the solution to this puzzle here, because this is a complicated puzzle. I am sorry, but it is. Okay, I'm back. Whoops. Wrong button. Here, all that is in the heavens can be controlled. He who controls the heavens can control time as well. Looks like you can only assemble two of the symbols. To do the third, you have to leave the room first. Proof? I'm your proof! I used up all my energy trying to assemble a third, now look at me! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty clever. Anyway, magical tree. Now, we want to set the room so that the moon is out. To do that, you hit the middle thing and the right thing. And now that we have done that, the position of the giants within the room has changed. Bud, Megara, Lead, and Foot build a flying tower to return the mother to the sky. That is also a part of the rooms we will be visiting, although that is a very late game area, so we will not be going there until much later. Also, uh, we haven't come across a guy yet, but there's a guy here that says there is power by the feet of Foot, and he asks which one is Foot. It turns out it is not the fist. Die, you stupid fisting. It is this guy. So you put a pedestal on his foot, and we get the next life jewel. That's pretty great. Oof. The eldest, Zeb, could not move as he had to fill up the earth. So yeah, he's kind of like Atlas, only in reverse, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Frogger! That's a, that was a pretty sweet game, I gotta say. Ow. The fuzz oops. What Alright. So now, uh, actually, bringing out the moon here does nothing for us as long as we do not have the Ankhjul. So we want to change it so that the stars are showing. To do that, you hit the left pedestal, and then the middle pe- Go away. The middle pedestal twice. Wait, that's not right. Let's see. Left. Middle. Middle. There we go. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so now that the moon is out, one of the giants that we passed up there will be all collapsed on the ground, and we can climb onto his head and use him as a step stool to get the la to get to that ladder. So I'm like, hey there, you two. What's up? Yeah, you see? He's dead. Or something, or he's sleeping, or whatever. Anyway. Megara is left-handed. Okay. Okay. 
Now what we want to do is land on this little outcropping here and attack it with the knife. That'll disarm a trap in this room so that we can get the Ankh Jewel without really having to worry about things. Because, you know, not having to worry about things is pretty great. Now that's taken care of. I believe what we want to do is... Oh! You know what we want to do? We want to go over there. So, uh... Chipmunk time! Anyway, Ankh Jewel. Now, if you did not disarm the trap there, the wall would have closed off behind you and you'd have to teleport out. So, I hope you got the grail. <laughs> anyway, now that we've got the Ankh Jewel, what you want to do is bring out the sun. Because on a sunny day, there is another one of the giants that will have something that we want to get in his hand. And so we're just going to like fall on the spikes and call it away, you know? And so what you want to do is... With the things on stars, you want to leave the room, return. We already did that, so... Go away, ghosts. Right, right. Middle, middle. Right, right. That brings out the sun. Behold the power of the sun! Or something like that. No, you know what it is? It's unleash the power of the sun! I was thinking of something else entirely. Because, you know, I mix things up all the time, and it's a stupid thing. But it's funny. I mean, that's what I do, you know? It's like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? SpongeBob SquarePants! That's <laughs> yeah, an old Chugger Conroy thing. If you saw that episode, I don't know if anyone did. I think it's in his Earthbound Let's Play. Anyway, now that that's over with, we have revealed the Ankh, so what we definitely want to do is, uh, save. Because this is like the hardest boss in the first half of the game. And so we will be taking him on in the next episode. Now, in between episodes, I'm thinking of grinding a little bit, you know, for stuff. Coins, mostly. We will want to get a lot of coins in weight, because there are things that we need to buy. And so I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. See you then.